Hey, Kim here from craftbuggy.com. I'm gonna show you how to make these really simple leaf vases. And I say they're simple. I did make some pretty big mistakes along the way. So, um, and you'll be able to see those very clearly. Um, and then I will show you how to correct those so that you don't waste supplies or anything just like I did. Um, but it's very simple, very short list of materials. Um, you can get it at the dollar store. You can use mason jars. You can use whatever you want. But it's just kind of a fun way to create some holiday fall decor around your house on a lower budget. Um, I don't like spending a lot of money on fall and Christmas decor around my house. I love it, but I don't want to spend a lot of money on it. So this is a really great craft. Um, you can get kids involved. You can do it with your friends. So it's really great. Stay tuned and I'll show you everything you need to get started. For these fall vases, you're just going to need a spray paint of some kind. So I decided I wanted to go with a darker color. So I'm going to be doing this kind of coppery rustic color. And then if I decide that it's too dark or I want a shimmery coat over the top, I'm going to use this pearl mist. I really love this. This is one of my go-tos. And then you're going to need a vase or a mason jar of some kind. So I got this at Dollar Tree. So that's a win. And then um, to create the kind of lantern effect, you want to use stickers or decals. So I actually printed these off on my Cricut machine and um, I found these designs in the images section. Um, if you're subscribed, then you shouldn't have to pay extra for these. And so I love how these... I. I decided to make these a little bit smaller um, just because I didn't want giant leaves on my vase. And then if you need transfer paper, depending on the design, like if you have a really intricate leaf, then you might want to use um, like a sticky transfer sheet just to attach them to your vase. But that's actually everything you're going to need. Oh, and then um, at the very end, this is optional. If you wanted to do a clear coat, you can, um, before you peel the decals off, you can spray everything with a clear coat just to secure everything on there. But that's actually everything you're gonna need. Let's go ahead and get started. I'll put my decals on my vase here. I'm gonna start with taking these stickers and just randomly placing them anywhere on the vase. And it doesn't matter where, you don't have to have a specific rhyme or reason. I'm just placing them anywhere where I think they would work. Ooh. See, the good thing about this um, 631 vinyl is that if you make a mistake, they peel up pretty easily. You don't have to redo the whole thing. And then I'm just gonna continue doing this throughout the entire vase. So you can see I have all my stickers placed and there's really no pattern to this. I just placed them on there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take this outside and I'm gonna spray probably two coats of this on there. Um, I'm, gonna make, I'm gonna make sure that the coats dry fully in between because I don't want anything to be sticky or tacky. Plus, if you don't wait for it to fully dry, um, these whenever you peel these off, it could peel up the paint. So dry fully. That's the biggest thing here. So I'm going to go um, spray one or two coats of this and then I'll decide at the end if I want to apply this pearl mist. Um, but if I do, I will let you know and I'll see you when this is all painted. So here is the cup. I decided not to put the pearly mist layer on because I really like how this turned out. It's pretty shimmery and it's on its own. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start peeling up the decals here. And if it leaves a little bit like on the stem, that's okay. We can easily take nail polish remover and get that out of there. But see how easily that comes up? It's so much fun. So you're basically just gonna do that all the way around until you have all your decals come out of there. So I finished peeling all the decals off. I should have waited till it was, I, I feel like I should have probably waited another hour just because there were some areas that, um, like you can see right here, the paint kind of peeled up with it. Um, not a huge deal. And then I had some blue paint on my hands. So like right here and right here, I'm just gonna touch up with some of that copper paint just to make sure that that teal goes away. Um, but it's all done. I tried to cover the paint marks and this is what happened. 
So, um, yeah, just <laughs> be very aware of that. Um, but otherwise, it turned out really great. Um, just my few couple errors that um, you guys can learn from my mistakes. But I do overall love how this turned out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned from my mistakes. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to comment below. I will get back to you. And if you like this video, you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that like button. You can also visit me at craftbuggy.com. I have a bunch of other fall crafts and other seasonal crafts that I would love to share with you. I look forward to seeing you for the next craft.